Your wife? Your wife's already been here three times today. <laughs> it is so good to be here. I'm glad I got here. I get lost, I get lost very easily. Anybody else get lost besides them? Because I, I drive and I, and I use my GPS, but my GPS is always, there's too many turns and I'm always missing them and then it calls me stupid, I think. I have no idea. But, uh, and, and, I, and I, found, I discovered another one called Waze. Did anybody use Waze? A lot of you use Waze. It's a great, what it does, it, it tells you where the cops used to be. It, does, it tells you there's a policeman, but, but they're, they're never there. You want to know why they're never there? Because the police have ways. <laughs> and, and, and if you get stuff in traffic, it, it takes you down dirt roads, back alleys, parking lots, people's backyards. It took me through a cemetery. I'm driving through the cemetery, and all of a sudden, it says, you have reached your final destination. <laughs> oh! Redirect me! Redirect me! <laughs> I'm old school. I do. I, I, got, I got lost coming here from the airport, and I finally pulled over and asked somebody, I said, excuse me, can I take this road down to Center Street? Guy said, I don't care. Go ahead if you want. <laughs> I guess you had to be there. <laughs> I'm, from, I, 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 I'm from New York. Uh, uh, well, actually, uh, I, I lived in Jersey and in New York City. Anybody from New you ever heard of New York? <laughs> Now, now, New Yorkers a bit, are a bit different than most people on Earth. Am I right? Yeah. They're, they're very, for, for example, this really happened. I'm not, about 25 years ago, I was on a city bus in New York City, and we're driving up Broadway on a city bus, and this horrible thing happened. This, this construction crane fell from a building down onto the street right in front of the bus on the back of a taxi. I jump up. I go, did you see that? That was horrible. I hope everybody in the taxi is okay. Guy sitting next to me goes, oh, man, now I won't be late. <laughs> And the bus driver goes, get that thing out of the way. Come on. <laughs> New Yorkers are always in a hurry. Always in a hurry. Last week in Brooklyn, a guy tried to pass me in a car wash. <laughs> I like Brooklyn. I like the old Brooklyn. The old Brooklyn was like this. Hey, Vinny, Joey, Tony, you talking to me? Forget about it. Hey, you got a problem with that? This is the new Brooklyn. We're from Brooklyn. <laughs> Not the same. New Yorkers are friendly, though. They are friendly people. They will give you directions whether they know where the place is or not. <laughs> yeah, you go two lights, you make a right, you can't miss it. Uh. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Where'd you send them? Back to Jersey. <laughs> Comedy's a weird thing. Sometimes, you know, we write material all the time. Sometimes we don't have to write material. It happens to us. I'm going to tell you a true story. This really happened. About six months ago, I went to a place called Dunkin' Donuts. Now, do they have them around here? Did, did, anybody ever heard of Dunkin' Donuts? Okay. So I went to a Dunkin' Donuts, and, and it was around 5 o'clock in the afternoon, so it wasn't busy. There was one kid behind the counter, and I was the only one in the, in the, in the place. I walk in. No one else was there but me and him. And now, I don't know if it was his first day or maybe he was just playing. <gasps> Stupid. But I said to the kid, I said, I want to get a dozen donuts. He said, uh, well, how many do you want? <laughs> and I thought, okay, he's, he's joking. He's trying to be funny. I get it. So I give him the fake laugh. <laughs> so I said, a dozen. He said, well, how many? And I could tell at that moment he had no idea. <laughs> So I pointed to the sign. I said, $8.99 for a dozen. That's 24 donuts. I know, that was the wrong thing to do. I should have said 36. I actually, because I didn't want to get the kid in trouble, I stopped him at 18. <laughs> I said, you know, they're really 18. He said, I thought so, man. Really happened. <laughs> Weird things happen. I shop at a dollar. I mean, the other dollar store. Anybody shop at a dollar store? Yeah. You ever see someone you know at a dollar store? <laughs> Before they see you, you drop all your stuff. <laughs> then you walk up to them. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I was across the street at the bank. I saw you walk in. I just came in to say hi. 
Now, the reason I bring up the dollar store, and, and if you've seen this, please help me out by applauding. They sell pregnancy tests at dollar stores. Does anybody see? Yeah. Can you believe it? One dollar, I picked up one dollar and I read the instructions. What you do for a dollar is you use it and then you wait nine months and you get your results. <laughs> Google it. I love Google. Y'all Google? Yeah! Isn't Google amazing? Yeah! No matter how bad you spell a word, it knows what you're looking for. <laughs> you can actually type in Z-X-W-Q-Y. Did you mean Robin? Yes! <laughs> I meant Robin, how did you know? Can you see me? <laughs> no, but Facebook can. Who's on Facebook? Who's on Facebook? Anybody on Facebook? Everybody's on Facebook. Everybody's on Facebook. My mother, she's 94 years old. She has a Facebook page. She doesn't have any friends. They're all dead, but she has a... She's 94 years old. She lives in Florida. If you ever go down her, maybe you've seen her. She likes to drive around during rush hour to make other people late for work. How do I get to the bingo? She has an answering machine. And I kid you not, this is her message on the answering machine. Don't hang up, I'm home. I'm coming to the phone. It, it takes me a minute, I'm probably in the bathroom, don't hang up. I'm, I'm really home, don't hang up. <laughs> My mother, she's 94 years old. I live, in, I live in Connecticut now, she calls me up from Florida. She says, she's very Italian, she has a very deep Italian accent. She goes, Massimo, I can't find my pocketbook. <laughs> Mom, I'm, I, I'm in Connecticut. I can't find my pocketbook. I can't find anything in this house. I said, well, why don't you go look for it? Never mind, what, look for what? Your pocketbook. What about my pocketbook? Forget it. <laughs> I'll tell you something that she really did. I'm not making this up, this really happened. She called me up recently asking me for my phone number. She called up, Massimo, what's your phone number? Mom, you just called me. No, your phone number doesn't work. Every time I call you, the lady says, no, Mom, you, but you just called me. Give me your phone number. Okay, 936. Wait a minute, I gotta go get a pencil. You got a pencil? I got a pencil. 936, the pencil don't work. Get another pencil, I got it. 936, okay, wait, 936, 936, 936. No, mom, just one 936. Okay, one 936. No, mom, just 936. How many, nine? you know what, I'm gonna fly down. I'll write it down when I get there. It'll take less time. <laughs> I wish I was making that up. Uh, hey, ha Halloween, you guys like Halloween? Yeah! Isn't it a great holiday? I, like, I, I never liked it when I was growing up. I lived on a farm. Maybe out there grew up on a farm? You live on a farm, Halloween stinks. You go trick or treat and the next house is eight miles away. You walk eight miles, a man hands you an apple. Here you go, son. Oh, gee, thank you, mister. We don't have these things on our farm. <laughs> What do you call them again? <laughs> it's a weird holiday. You have to go out and you buy candy and give it to other people's children. You try that any other time of year, you're going to prison. <laughs> <laughs> and I ran out of candy. Anybody ever run out of candy on Halloween? Yeah. I granted, well, first of all, I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not my fault they start selling it in July. <laughs> I buy it in July, by October, half of it is gone. In, in last year, I ran out of candy. Seven o'clock, I was out of candy, nothing left. I turned off the lights, and they're still knocking on the door. <laughs> I'm behind the couch, hiding from them. Go away! The light is off, don't you know the rules? They still kept coming, you know, I ended up giving up. It, it expired cans of stuff. <laughs> Trick or treat. <laughs> Green beans. <laughs> One little kid says, I'm gonna give your house a bad report, review on Yelp. <laughs> I'll like it. 
I guess you ought to be there. <laughs> you guys are a nice crowd. You laughed and you stopped really fast. <laughs> You're better than last week, though. Last week I had to perform in front of 650 Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> All they wanted to hear were knock knock jokes. <laughs> I fell in love again. My wife's gonna get mad. <laughs> but out there in love, anybody in love in love? Anybody in love? Any? And I guess the rest of you are married. That's fine. You know, the women are sitting there. Raise your hand, stupid. I love you. Love is crazy, especially in the beginning. Beginning. How many people remember the beginning when you, many years ago when you were young? In the beginning, when you loved each other so much, you had to tell each other every three seconds. Remember that? Like I love you, love you too, love you three, love you four. I am so lucky. I'm the lucky one. You complete me. And 25 years later, don't you love me? I'm here, ain't I? <laughs> love is crazy. Women are better at love than men are. Y'all agree? <laughs> Women are better at a lot of things than men are. Y'all agree? <laughs> Women can do things men can never dream about doing. A, am I right? Yeah. A woman can take her bra off without taking her shirt off. That amazes me. <laughs> Have you ever seen this? Like, out the sleeve. How'd you do that? Put it back on. That's amazing. Women are amazing. You want to know what women can do that men can never do? W women can fold sheets all by themselves. You give a four foot woman a king size sheet, it's a miracle. Have you ever seen a man fold a sheet? <laughs> Done. The most we can deal with alone is a hand towel. And still we have to use our chins. I helped. Honey, I helped. Give me a beer. I'm tired. Besides, women don't really like men to help them fold sheets and towels, and there's a reason for that. Does anyone out there know what that reason is? No. We don't do them right. <laughs> you never fold them the way you're supposed to. Or you flip it over and you flip it under. Why? Because they look better on the shelf, stupid. <laughs> the shelf is closed. People don't go into other people's houses and open up linen shelves, do they? I do. do oh. <laughs> You're the one. <laughs> women are amazing. You want to know women? Women can use men's rooms anytime they want. Yeah. Oh yeah. You give a. You, am I right, lady? If there's a big line in front of a ladies' room, what do you girls do? What do you do? <laughs> Take over the men's room. <laughs> and you want to know something, fellas? You will not be able to get into the men's room. Why? Because they stand guard for each other. Where do you think you're going, mister? No, you're not. There's a lady inside. I'm next. She's after me. You find a bush. <laughs> and men, we're like stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Women are amazing. I don't even know what time it is. I bought a guest watch the other day off a street vendor in New York. It doesn't have any hands on it. It just says, guess. <laughs> Women pack better than men. Am I right? Yes! They do. See, when a woman packs to go away, she will plan every single day down to the underwear. And whether you know this or not, fellas, a woman goes away, she packs at least two pair of underwear a day for herself. They do. They plan it. They're like, Thursday, Thursday. Friday, Friday. <laughs> Honey, what do you think? Are we going to go horseback riding on Sunday? <laughs> Sunday, 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 Sunday. 
men pack underwear Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm wearing a pair, that's all I need. Turn them inside out, that's two days, right guys? Backwards, forward, forward. You wanna know what women are really good at, men really stink at besides everything? Engage this. Applaud if you're engaged. Anybody out there engaged? <laughs> Is she with you? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's working out just great. <laughs> Women are more proud because they get the ring. They get the ring. What do we get, guys? Nothing. <laughs> but that is an important piece of jewelry, that ring is, right, girls? Men, you put that on a woman's finger, the next day when she goes to work, she will show everybody. All day I work's like ah! <laughs> How did you notice it? <laughs> you almost put my eye out with it. Now men get engaged. If she's not around, usually we don't tell the soul. <laughs> People ask you, I heard you get married. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> when you bought her a ring, yeah, to shut her up. <laughs> Some of us can't laugh at that. <laughs> you gotta buy that ring, that jewelry. Jewelry's important. Women love to shop. My wife's a shopper. Anybody out there married to a shopper? Yeah. The only one. My wife will buy me. She'll buy stuff on these online marketplaces. Anybody buy stuff on online marketplaces? <laughs> Yeah. She'll buy something. Yes, and she'll so all of a sudden she goes, yes. I said, what happened? She said, I just bought something. So what is it? She goes, I don't know. It was a dollar. <laughs> so what is it? She said, I don't know. It was a dollar. <laughs> well, I said, if you don't know what it was, then why'd you buy? Because he wanted ten dollars. I got him down to one dollar. <laughs> and you've got to go pick it up tomorrow between three and four. My wife shops online. She'll go, she'll buy stuff online at, at Kohl's. Anybody ever, ladies, do you do that? She'll buy seven of the same dresses. They're delivered to the house. She'll try them all on. She keeps the one she wants. And because she's busy, I have to bring them back to Kohl's. The lady at Kohl's knows me and she thinks that I'm wearing women's clothes. <laughs> I look at they're for my wife. She goes, mm hmm. No, really, they're for my wife. Mm hmm. Maybe you should try a bigger size. I can't shop with my wife. I can't grocery shop with my wife. I cannot grocery shop with her. I put something in the cart, she gives me that look. What is that? Toaster strudel? Well, you can't buy it. Why? Because it's not on sale. We don't have a coupon for it. She knows, she knows at that moment not to let me leave the side of the car because she knows that I'll go back and I'll buy the toaster strudel and bring it back to the car and eat it frozen at full price. <laughs> Just to make her angry. <laughs> she gets to the car, there's toaster strudel drool all over my face. I take those white packets and suck the cream. <laughs> I can't shop without her. I don't know how to shop. First of all, in this world, do you know how many different types of milks we have nowadays? <laughs> you know how many different types of milks there were when I was growing up? Anybody remember? One. One. It was called milk. <laughs> milk. It came in a, in a glass jar with no expiration date. <laughs> now there's 1%, 2%, 0%, almond, soy, 0%. You're buying white water. I don't know how to shop. I call her from the store. I say, how do you want to, what do you want to do for dinner tonight? She says, can't you make a decision? <laughs> I can. <laughs> but it'll be the wrong one. <laughs> Tell me what to do. I'm afraid to come home. <laughs> and I forgot the coupons. <laughs> she sends me to the store with coupons. I forget to use them every single time. I'm driving home from the store, I'm feeling good. I'm almost at the house, I look down, there are coupons in my pocket. <laughs> now I'm eating coupons. 
I walk into the house, first question, did you use the coupons? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let me see the receipt. <laughs> they didn't give me one. I lost it. I don't know what happened to it. I'll buy you jewelry. <laughs> Flowers are important. Women love getting flowers. Men love buying them. <laughs> now, now, the bad thing about buying flowers, fellas, if you buy those flowers in the flower shop, there's just no cool way to walk out of the flower shop. Back to the car with flowers in your hands without looking like a dork. <laughs> Men look like dorks. You do. You're walking down the street. You have a bouquet. People are driving by. They see you with the bouquet. They know you messed up. <laughs> you're advertising you're a dork. That's why we invented delivery. Yeah. You're in the shop, can you, can you deliver? Right next door. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't wanna look like a dork. <laughs> FTD, that's a good idea. Why don't you send them FTD? They get to the door. <laughs> FTD, flowers for me. <laughs> what does FTD stand for? From the dork. <laughs> you love them, you'll do it. I like to call people up in the middle of the night. You ought to try it. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Wake up at 4, 4.30 in the morning. Pick up that phone call. Anybody, even a stranger, just close your eyes and dial a number. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Yeah, you've got to get up and go to the bathroom. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> that joke gets funnier as you get older. You ever get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, see yourself in the mirror, scare the heck out of yourself? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm fat. <laughs> I am, look at that. You know what it is, my kitchen is in the center of the house. Every time I walk from room to room, I've gotta walk through the kitchen and those Keebler cookie elves, they call me. <laughs> and in my house, those elves, they're not Irish, they're Italian. They're like, hey, you, hey, you, get over here. Get a, take a couple of cookies, will you? I can't. I can't have any cookies. I've got, I've got to get rid of this thing. Forget about this thing. In fact, take the whole bag, get yourself a glass of milk, enjoy yourself. I can't. I can't. I promised my wife I'd get rid of this. Your wife? Your wife's already been here three times today. <laughs> I don't know what this means. Any Italians out there? I'm the only one. We talk with our hands. All Italians talk with their hands. I have an uncle in Italy, lost both arms. He can't talk. <laughs> You've been sitting in a parking lot, all of a sudden the car next to you starts to pull back. You think you're moving, see a slam on your brakes? Yeah. Am I the only one? <laughs> Remember when you were a kid you used to talk in the window fans? <laughs> your mom would always say the same thing. Your voice will stay like that. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, my dad would throw me up in the air and walk away. <laughs> I, I remember one Christmas, all my dad bought me for Christmas was a slinky, a lousy, stinking slinky. We lived in a one-story house. We had no stairs. <laughs> well, we didn't have good toys when I was a kid. We had crummy toys. Anybody, anybody about my age? Anybody ab about my age? 28? Anybody 28? <laughs> Who can remember when a slinky was a major toy? <laughs> That's all we had. Slinky, silly putty, super ball. Who's ever played with a super ball? <laughs> you played with it once. Gone forever. <laughs> Uno. You gonna play Uno? You think maybe down in Mexico there's a game called One? <laughs> One. One. It'd be a lot of fun unless you're playing with a guy named Juan. <laughs> Juan, see, si, no Juan, Juan. See, si, no Juan, Juan, Juan. No, Juan. Juan. He's played Monopoly. And pickup sticks. Who invented pickup sticks? Pick them up. Could you imagine?
imagine getting a child off an Xbox or a PlayStation in today's world to play pickup sticks? <laughs> son, come over here with your dad and play pickup sticks. It's a lot of fun. You know what we're gonna do, son? We're gonna take these sticks, we're gonna drop them. Then we're gonna pick them up. <laughs> and they're looking at me, Dad, you like stupid? I had no friends growing up, I had no friends at all. I remember one year my parents bought me just one walkie-talkie. <laughs> Can you hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> I used to play the piano in the high school marching band. <laughs> my time's up, you guys have been wonderful. Thank you so much. Local man robs Wendy's with alligator. We're the alligator boys now. And the lady be sitting in the bank, she be going, Mom, Mom, 